pour it onto the sides of your bread just like this. Look at that. So you want to do a thin coat. Now follow along, you're going to lift your bread up like this. You're going to pour a little bit more right there in the center. Roughly I have two to three eggs here, depending on how eggy you want it. So bam, perfect, boom. Now let that egg soak in. Now watch this. So you're gonna get your pan, pour it to the sides that don't have enough eggs. You want a thin layer even throughout and watch everything get settled down there. Now you're gonna add some garlic powder and we're gonna season the sides of the eggs. And that's very important here. Some salt and some black pepper, okay? This is an ultimate breakfast sandwich and I'll explain to you why. Perfect. Now, let me show you the secret recipe to amazing bread. So you gotta get some mayo and you're gonna put mayonnaise on your bread, just like that. You're like crazy, you're crazy. No, you're gonna spread it onto your bread. And if you know about mayonnaise, it's a really great way to toast your bread. Now you guys know, if you guys didn't know that, it's a really good way to toast your bread. So as you can see, everything is cooked up nicely. Get your spatula, break up your eggs just like that. Perfect. You don't want anything to stick, you're gonna get your spat, get underneath everything. Get really underneath there, okay? Don't be scared, you're just gonna flip it, okay? Three, I'm scared. I'm really underneath it now. Boom, beautiful. As you can see, it's all flapped egg and you're just gonna fold it into your bread. As you can see, look at that. It folds perfectly in, as you can see. Now we're gonna go for American cheese. The best type of cheese for a breakfast sandwich. Now watch and follow along. We're gonna go quick because you don't want your bread to get too toasted. But that mayonnaise is gonna toast it so nicely. And I'm gonna show you the color of that bread in a second. Use mayonnaise to toast your bread. It's the best way to do it. Now, protein, right? You can't just have eggs. I'm using turkey, and this is how you put it on, boom. You want your sandwich to look thick and menacing, okay? I hate when sandwiches look just so tiny, right? You want a thick, menacing big boy. Perfect. I do say perfect a lot, guys. I don't know why. It just became a really bad habit of mine, but doesn't this look perfect? So I need to stop trying to say perfect. Let me know if I say perfect too much because if I, if I say perfect too much, I need to stop and learn some more vocabulary to really expand upon that. Okay, so everything getting nice and toasted. Now we're going to flip everything on top of each other. Perfect. So we're going to press down a little bit more. Make sure everything's cooking nicely. But for, first thing, we're gonna season some salt, some garlic powder, again, some black pepper. Look at this breakfast sandwich. It's getting really, really good. Oh my goodness. Now. A little secret hint of Dijon mustard, guys. Yes, it's just a nice little tang to cut all the heaviness of this sandwich. Some Dijon goes so well with this. Perfect amount, just like that. Now, this is ready to flip. Watch this. Boom, look at that golden color from the mayonnaise. Absolutely amazing. Now, as that's going, watch this. This is the secret ingredient. Cheese. Right there. Spread out the cheese. You wanna spread out the cheese, follow along. We're making a cheese crust. Sounds crazy, but it's absolutely amazing. So you guys break it up just like that. You want a thin, flat layer. The thinner, the better. It's like painting a picture, right? Look at it go. You need a non-stick pan to do this because you don't want your cheese to get stuck. Look how nice this is going. It's like painting a picture, okay? So, get it nice and thin, just like that, perfect. 
watch me go over, back and forth with it. That's what you want. Look at the crust starting to form, you see it? And that's with time and patience, okay? So, perfect. Now you're gonna get the bottom of the sandwich. Look at this, really nice. And place it right on top of that cheese. Perfect. Bring it back to town. Now, call me crazy, but this is the ultimate breakfast sandwich. I did promise you guys. Another layer of cheese on this side. A nice thin one, just like that. As you see, everything starts to form nicely. We season our cheese with some garlic powder. Perfect, now it's starting to melt down. Everything getting nice and crispy. Our sandwich is huge, but perfectly portioned and sized. Absolutely lovely. Look at that bad boy go. Now the cheese is starting to form, the crust is starting to form. We have to give it a little bit of time. We wanted to give it a little bit of time so the cheese gets crispy, okay? Patience is a virtue. If you're not patient, the whole thing can get ruined. So you're gonna break up the cheese, just like that, perfect. Amazing. Flatten it out a little bit, look at the sauce, look at the drip, perfect. Everything is forming nicely. Now, Everything's good to go. Now I need to fold it on top of this one. So watch this. Bam, and look at that cheese crust there. Move this along. Look at this. Look how crispy this is. It's like a eating a, imagine having a cheese it on top of your, your breakfast sandwich. Absolutely amazing. It's all done. Let me serve this and have someone try it so you guys can see the results. sandwich have a try it's absolutely delicious Ooh. look at that i put chives on top that's ridiculously good man okay i really like this one is it really good is it the best one this is the best breakfast sandwich you had the bread tastes like cheese it's cheesy the eggs are at like a, at a perfect cook the ham is just the cherry on top honestly this is a slapping 10 out of 10 on here 10 out of 10 okay there's mustard in it. Oh, it? Is that was the, 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 the little, the little zing? zing? Yeah, 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 I was wondering what, what, so what it guys, was. So guys, the mustard is a very key, good, important factor because it cuts all the fat of that. Oh, it's coming out, look at that. Mm. If you have chives, use chives. If you don't have chives, you don't need them. I was good with 